Most college students dream of landing a good job after graduation, but does the school they attend matter? Does their socioeconomic status matter? According to a new study, college graduates tend to earn similar incomes regardless of their background. Jesse Stribe's new book is called The Accidental Equalizer, How Luck Determines Pay After College, and she joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I would think that the pay out of school would depend on the industry you're working in and maybe what that housing market is. I mean, that seems to have been consistent for a very long time, no? Well, yes, the pay that you're that you get does depend on the industry that you go into. But the surprising thing is it doesn't depend much on your class background once you have a college degree. So graduates of, say, Illinois State University earn the same amount if they grew up poor or if they grew up rich, if they grew up with two college educated parents or without any college educated parents. And that's really, I think, a surprising thing given that students from more advantaged class backgrounds have a lot more resources in which to use to get a job. So you're saying anyone with a college degree, regardless of whether you're from a smaller school or a Harvard, you're going to earn the same? It does depend a little bit on where you go to school, but if you went to the same school, then your class background no longer predicts your earnings. I see, so two students that are graduating from Harvard uh, just because one might come from a little more money than the other, they're on equal footing when they try and get a job. Exactly. I see. Uh, doesn't it, though, play a part where someone from an economically advantaged community may have connections through their parents for internships and, and first jobs that someone at the same school from a lower income does not have? They do. So students from higher class backgrounds, they do tend to intern more. They tend to have more connections, more status symbols, more money, and often somewhat higher GPAs. But what's really fascinating is those don't end up paying off in the labor market the way we would expect them to. And that's because luck plays such a big role in who ends up getting high pay for the types of jobs that students are seeking. And that happens for a couple of reasons. So one is that information about where and how to get ahead tends to be hidden from students from all class backgrounds. So they don't know where those highest paying jobs are, and they don't have a lot of information about how to get them. So everybody from all class backgrounds are just having to guess. And then in some industries, employers are really using class neutral criteria to evaluate candidates. So everybody's having to guess, but their guesses are gonna be equally likely to pay off regardless of their class background. Well, well, now you have states passing laws that say you have to post the job with the salary requirements. So is that helping things? Well, it might make things actually more unequal, which I think is a little surprising. So if you think about it, when people have more resources, they can use them to get the highest paying jobs if they know where those highest paying jobs are. But if they don't know, then we can have more equality by class background. So we've, we're going to have to choose, do we want equality by class background or do we want transparency in pay? And we probably can't have both. In the end, though, is it, uh, do you, when you mentioned luck, I think people might be getting confused. Are you still finding that it's people that are putting in, working the hardest are getting ahead and, and, and that is making a difference? Not necessarily, because the people who work the hardest don't know where those high paying jobs are either. So they might have a really good chance at getting them if they knew where they were. But because they don't know where they are, they might apply to a job that doesn't pay so much for the type of position that they want and end up them getting that position. And it just turns out that it's not particularly high paying. So what are you saying that students should be doing that they're not doing? I mean, right now, it's probably just accepting that a lot of your work, you don't know if and how it will pay off. And so accepting that luck is going to play a big role in your pay after you graduate from college. Well, for more, you can check out jessiestribe.com or follow Jesse on X. Jesse, thanks for being with us. Great. Thanks for having me.